Heavenly Father, in the stillness of this moment, we come before you with hearts open and eager to invite the Holy Spirit into our lives. We recognize that your Spirit is not only a force of power and wisdom, but also a gentle presence that guides, comforts, and transforms us from within. As we bow our heads in reverence, we seek to experience the profound impact of your Spirit in every facet of our existence. Your Word reminds us of the significance of inviting the Holy Spirit into our lives. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus reassured his disciples, If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Luke 11:13. Lord, we stand on this promise, knowing that as we ask, You will generously pour out Your Spirit upon us. We acknowledge that Your Spirit is not bound by time or space, but resides in the innermost chambers of our hearts. Your Apostle Paul emphasized the transformative power of the Holy Spirit, stating, And we all, with unveiled face beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another, for this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 3.18 As we invite your Spirit, we long for this profound transformation, desiring to reflect your likeness more and more each day. Holy Spirit, you are the comforter promised by Jesus to guide us in all truth. As we journey through life's complexities, we invite you to be our counselor, illuminating the path before us. Jesus assured his disciples, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. John 14, 26. Fill our minds with your wisdom, reminding us of your teachings in moments of decision and doubt. In the same way, your Spirit empowers us to live lives that honor you. In Acts 1, 8, Jesus declared, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Empower us, Holy Spirit, to boldly testify to your love and truth in a world hungry for meaning and purpose. As we invite your Spirit, we also recognize the fruits that you bear in our lives. The Apostle Paul beautifully captured these qualities, stating, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22, 23. We open our hearts to these transformative fruits, longing to manifest them in our relationships, actions, and attitudes. Lord, as we conclude this prayer, we offer ourselves as vessels for your Spirit to dwell within. In the words of your servant David, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51.10 May our hearts be a welcoming abode for your spirit, a dwelling place where your love and presence are felt by all who encounter us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we humbly pray. Amen.